Today, let's talk about something that the prophet Zephaniah speaks of, days like chaff. You'll see what I mean. I'm going to read to you from Zephaniah chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, where we read, Gather yourselves together. Yes, gather together, O undesirable nation, before the decree is issued or the day passes like chaff, before the Lord's fierce anger comes upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger comes upon you. The second chapter of Zephaniah is a warning to the nations to repent and prepare for the coming judgment of God. It is as if God said in this chapter that he gives the nation one last chance to get ready so that they won't be destroyed at his coming. As the chapter develops, the prophet looked to the west and saw the Philistines and he warned them. Then he looked to the east and saw the Moabites and the Ammonites and he warned them. Then he looked to the south and saw the Ethiopians and warned them. Finally, he looked to the north and warned the Assyrians of the coming judgment of God. Looking to each point of the compass, the idea was the same. God wanted everyone to be prepared for his coming. He didn't want anyone to be caught surprised in the day of his judgment. But as 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 17 says, judgment begins at the house of God. If the nations at every point of the compass should prepare for the coming of God, All the more should Judah and Jerusalem and the people of God be ready. That's why Zephaniah began the chapter by speaking to the undesirable nation, to the stubborn, unturned people of God. First, he told them, gather yourselves together. The idea was that they should gather together in a solemn demonstration of national mourning and repentance. An example of this kind of gathering is found in 1 Samuel chapter 7, where the prophet Samuel gathered the people at Mizpah. They mourned over their sin and repented, and God did great things among them again. Zephaniah gave them a time to gather. They were to do it before the decree is issued. In the previous chapter, there were many warnings of judgment to the people of Judah and Jerusalem. Now they were to understand those warnings as an invitation to repentance. You see, the often unwritten theme behind most every prophecy of judgment is this. This is what will happen if you do not repent. Here, the prophet pled with the nation to repent before it was too late. Then Zephaniah used a beautiful phrase to add a sense of urgency. He warned Israel to get right with God before the day passes like chaff. Here the prophet called for a sense of urgency in repentance. Each day passes like chaff and there's nothing to show for the day. If we neglect what is most important, getting right and walking right with God. Chaff is the thin, light, outer husk surrounding a grain of wheat. When the wheat grains are made into flour, the wheat is separated from the chaff and the chaff is blown away. A handful of chaff had almost no substance and it could be carried away with the slightest breeze. How easy it is to let the days pass like chaff and never get right with God. We can allow day after day to pass, lacking any urgency to do what we should do before our Creator. We agree that the needs are important, but unconsciously we assume that there's plenty of time to address them. Some people think that the devil's most powerful lie is that there is no God. Some people think that the devil's most powerful lie is that there is no truth. Some people think that the devil's most powerful lie is that the Bible is not the word of God, but probably the most dangerous lie of the devil is that there is no hurry. This is why God speaks to us in several places to have a sense of urgency in getting right with him. If we don't make it urgent, it may never happen. So he says to us, Today, if you will hear his voice in Hebrews chapter 3. Not tomorrow, not next week, 
but today. This is why he tells us in Isaiah chapter 1, come now, let us reason together. We can put the emphasis on now. Come now to the Lord before the day passes like chaff. God wants the separation between you and himself to be gone now. He doesn't want you to continue in your destructive path another moment. He wants the best for you now. Don't let the days pass like chaff, as if the days were light and worthless. The day is heavy with meaning, and today is the day. Now is the time. 